This is a time when you must discover that everything you need is inside of you. Therefore, even seeing spaceships in the sky and being visited by, even being taken aboard a ship, a pill in comparison to what you can experience when you close your eyes and you focus inwardly. When you open up to your own infinite and eternal own nature, you will recognize that you never needed any information and not have you ever needed any intervention. You have access to source, which means you have access to everything when you look inside of you. And you also have an unlimited capacity to create realities and experience those realities. So yes, the physical is quite exciting, and the physical experiences you can have are intoxicating, sometimes quite literally. He's about you. It is not about Earth, per se. You make the difference, and it is very important at this time for you to embrace the energetics and become who you are. Not in a dream state, but in the awakening, moving around interactive state. We are here to set the energetic shape for you to begin experience interdimensional aspects of yourself. Not from the polarity of higher or lower, the rational mind is not a part of this, it is not understanding it. You can be in the sixth dimension, you can be in fourth dimension, you can be in fifth dimension. It is not even about those numbers, it is about being in the fullness and completeness of who you are and walking in that always from this moment on. You may consider this new territory, but it is not. This is your true nature. It is who you are in your completeness. Where you operated from last month, last week, last year was only a portion of who you are. Now, you are stepping into the fullness of who you were created to be. Who you are, with no restriction no limitation, you are operating in a oneness, and there are various levels of realities and dimensions that are operating simultaneously within you and within your field. You are a multidimensional unlimited being, you breathe it, you are it, and that awareness will only expand as this integration takes place within your physicality. You are most honored to have participated in this project with you and the diligence that you have shown and the willingness, even when it stretched you, it was stretching you now. There is nothing more important and it is moving swiftly in this process. This is a transitional time for the planet. It is not time to follow the anxious path, but to follow the path of light. Some of you may be having recurring dreams and new dreams about what you will be doing and are learning about yourself. Some of you may be very tired and need a lot more sleep. Quite a few of you are being affected by all of the solar activity, which is necessary for the activation of the wave of love, also known as the solar flash. Please be assured that all is in good hands, that the Creator is within you, along with the most adept and experienced designers of light and creation. You have nothing to worry about. There are some who do not believe in the event, but they will experience it regardless. The best thing to do now is to allow your body what it needs if you experience some of the energies from the solar activity. It has sped up rapidly in the last few months. The awakening I'm describing will be a global phenomenon, expanding exponentially as the few become many, 
as the people of our race has become Earth Steward. But there is a personal element to it, too. We can choose to work through our personal issues that might whisper to us that. I'm not good enough to do anything as important as all that or this sound like feel-good spirituality. But what she are talking about isn't real. Believing you are not good enough and pure enough to do the work is a form of self-indulgence. The same is true of assuming the work is important enough for you to take it on. The maxim here is a bite of more than you believe you can show. To find the entire desert in a grain of sand and to say yes to the calling that has been softly whispering to you for some time. As this regeneration of humanity gets underway, humankind can experience an evolutionary leap forward, a remarking of ourselves and the planet. But this will only happen if each of us discovers the magical, invisible realms through a shift in our perceptions and the architecture of our energy field. We can most easily make this energetic shift when we are in nature, but we can also do it indoors by drawing an intentionality, personal power, and love to engage with Mother Nature. This is called the return to the mother, that mother that never left us and that want us to be well. But if you are waiting for experiences with more terrestrials to convince you that something good is happening there on earth, we invite you to wait no longer. You have more terrestrial DNA inside of you. You have memories of your lives as more terrestrial beings inside of you and he can experience your multidimensional self by going within. The outer will always reflect the inner, and so the more exploring you do of your infinite and eternal nature. There is a deepening going on within humanity that touches the heart and soul in a profound way. With this deepening, you will only do that which resonates with your heart. Therefore, you will be making new choices and changes that are in alignment with these feelings. The depth takes you to the truth, and of course, the truth will set you free. It was set up to be this way so that humanity could find its way out of darkness. For too many incarnations on the earth, Humanity had to muddle through life based on lies and deception. The light has touched the hearts of humanity so that the soul overshadowing will no longer be able to exist. This is a part of your ascension, I'm happy to say. Before you came to the earth, you made a promise to the Creator that you would see these times through. You said that you would provide your light, your love, and your energy to help in raising the consciousness of the earth and all of life. You were chosen specifically for this time, and you've done well, very well. 